for the analysis of um, the open field test data that you've collected as what we did with the marble burying data, you'll be given the entire data set uh, which includes several data points for per animal. So each animal has a complete, uh, maybe three, four, or five uh, complete data sets. So consequently, you will need to sort the data correctly by individual and calculate the averages in the latency to leave the central square, the time spent in the central square, as well as um, the number of line crossings uh, for each individual animal. Subsequently, you will use the averages of each animal to calculate the uh, averages plus minus standard error of the mean of, uh, for each of the strains. So you have to sort them by strain. And then finally, you will have to visualize your data in uh, three separate bar graphs, um, a graph for latency to leave the central square, a graph, a separate graph for the time spent in the central square, and then the third graph, bar graph for the line crossings as a measure of locomotor activity. And then at the end, you'll have, have an opportunity to answer the discussion questions and start uh, the interpretation of the data in the context of the overall OCD mouse model.